Right, we have Sagai Raj joining us live. Um, really emotional scenes emerging from Vayanad. Sagai, it's so heartbreaking to see the family members, to listen to their accounts. I can only imagine, you know, what's going through them. Uh, we know that for some, their entire family has been wiped out. Many of them don't even know whether their kin are alive. Uh, you know, they've been declared missing, but whether they're dead or not, that information they're yet to receive. We're going to try and fix uh, Sagai Raj's audio connection, but have a look at that uh, rescue visual that we're showing you there. We saw that bridge, the temporary bridge that the Indian Army has set up. The Indian Army is leading this rescue mission. Nearly uh, 1,200 Army personnel are on ground coordinating with the rescue efforts. Uh, they've set up a temporary bridge to get past to some of the uh, difficult areas and, and reach those points which has been fully cut off. So if you see very carefully, they're literally pulling out uh, people individually. Overall, 1,000 people have been rescued, but this rescue mission has gone on for two days, now entering the third day, individually pulling out people from those battered areas. So you can imagine the kind of effort and strategy skill that's going out in this rescue mission. Sagai is back with us. Sagai, please, over to you on uh, the 10 situations at the rescue camps. You're at one of them. Please tell us more. Every single individual who is here have one or the other story to narrate. One person had lost a 12 days old baby and he, he had sent his wife uh, uh, for uh, uh, delivery to her mother's place and uh, he, met, he has seen the baby only once and uh, now he, I'm afraid that he will not be able to see that again. And he was waiting here to get uh, uh, the mortal remains of uh, his uh, family members. Apart from that, there are several other stories because the entire family has been rushed out. You get to see only the uncles and aunties or far relatives who are waiting to get the glimpse of their relatives' uh, uh, mortal remains. Because father, mother, son, daughter, everybody in a family, for an example, a family of 10 people have been washed away and there is no, not even a single person who is alive. One boy is alive because he, ha he has somehow survived. So these kind of stories you get to hear and the survivors are eagerly waiting uh, to uh, uh, identify the mortal remains. Many of them are still waiting, saying that they have found out two mortal remains and they're still searching for uh, the other people and they are hoping that, if they, if, that they should be alive but they are also hoping that it would be better if they get, if they are not alive, if it is better if they get the mortal remains as soon as possible because this waiting is hurting them more. Thanks very much, uh, Sagai, and I hope you are doing all right. You're